Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today, we're reading for February 28th, 29th, and March 1st, the weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, for my Capricorns. Hello, my Capricorns. How are you? Well, you know, weekends are, I use two Radley Valentine decks. I use my Angel Tarot cards for the main message. And then I pull one from my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused the deck with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? Happy Leap Year. Um, this is, you know, every four years. That's why we have February 29th. You know, the um, calendar, re you know, gets itself back into back into order. So it's going to be interesting energy with that too. Okay, one card has fallen out, face up, but it is reversed. The other two are face down, and they're not reversed. I am an intuitive channeler, so what that means is that I open myself up to my higher power spirit, and whatever the message is that needs to come out, it comes on out. So let's see what we have for my Capricorns for the weekend. The first card, this is reversed, is the Nine of Air. Air energy. Well, you know, this, com this card comes up a couple of times for my Capricorns. And this is about your head game. This is about you being in your head a little bit too much. Okay, Nine of Air. Air is, nines are about ending type of things. So, it, you know, so some of this is going to be very concrete thought processes for you. Air energy is Libra, Aquarius, Vir I'm sorry, e Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini energy, possibly hearing news, but it's more in your head. It's more those thoughts that just kind of creep in. They're like creepers. They're creeper thoughts. It's your Bluetooth energy. It's your Wi-Fi. But I feel like you, you, it's like one of those thoughts that you just hold on to and you just don't want to let it go. Um, we'll see what the other cards say, but my advice for you is, my, my Capricorns, can you do anything about it? Can you change it? So, you know, my thought is try to keep your thoughts positive and your words positive, okay? Because my Capricorns, you do, you know, when, when you get into your head and you go down that darker path, it does, you know, you do attract that darker energy. So stay uh, stay with that lighter thoughts. Think, be hopeful. Be hopeful, my Capricorns. Okay? Okay. So, nine of air is expecting the worst. Self-fulfilling prophecy. Sleepless night. So, are you about to start on a job? Are you about to start in a relationship? Which could be that job, career, work. It could be your family. It could be something to do with intimate, um, personal, um, interpersonal, you know, are you starting on a new relationship or are, or is there an existing relationship that you're just kind of going, you're doing an Eeyore with, remember Eeyore, you know, in Winnie the Pooh, oh, it's just not going to work. Well, if you are, I mean, now the th neat thing about Eeyore was that even though he was, you know, oh, oh, Everybody around him was very gentle and caring towards him. So I do like that about Eeyore. But the thing is, are you being an Eeyore? Because the thought, you know, you need to turn that around. That stinking thinking. Get rid of the stinking thinking. Okay, next card. The two of fire. Especially when you've got the two of fire. Get rid of the stinking thinking. Because the two of fire, fire energy is our Aries, our Leo, is Sagittarius is passionate, burning, new adventure, partnerships, getting, you know, getting going, just yay, let's get it going. You know, Eeyore, you know, doesn't have the energy that you need to move forward with this. Okay, you've come into your own, new partnerships or contracts. Yes, contracts always have those third pair of eyes. Continue to move forward. You know, don't let the stinking thinking stop you in your tracks. Okay, next card. The five of water. Okay, water energy. That's your emotional energy. That's, oh, so my thoughts are kind of in the, in the you know, stinking thinking and my, my energy, my emotions, it's like, no, it's just not going to happen. You know, between nine of air, it's just... And the other thing is, do I want to do this? 
Do I want to do this? Do I want to make, because this is going to, whatever this is, whatever your choices are, whatever this two of fire is leading you, whatever path this two of fire is leading you down, uh, you know, you, you, you have some doubts about it. You have some doubts. So, you know what, maybe your stinking thinking is actually where you need to be. You know, maybe you do need to have those doubts. I just, you know, I just go with the two of fire and, you know, maybe that's my impulsivity, you know, and I want to kind of pull you into it. Maybe, maybe that nine of air and this five of water is just, you know, maybe this opportunity that's being offered to you is just the opportunity you need to pass up. It might be, you know, I guess the thing is, um, would it hurt you to try it? If you say yes, okay. Fives are about changes, though. It could be positive, negative. It could be just net neutral, too. So, things not turning out the way you'd hope, not seeing the positive in a situation, crying over spilled milk. Again, between your thoughts and your emotions, maybe you need to listen to your guts. gut. Maybe you need to listen to all of that. If your gut's telling you not to, because I know my Capricorns, you're not necessarily known for your, um, your your intuitiveness and your psychicness, but I know you have, you are very strong in this, okay? You know, you hold it more, you, you know, it's like you're holding your cards to your vest type of thing. I know it's like you don't let people know what your gut says. And I know many, many Capricorns that they, when they know it, they know it. So, so we've got two ways of looking at this. One is there's going to be this amazing opportunity and you got to keep yourself positive and you got to get yourself worked up for it. Or there's going to be an opportunity that you just think, uh-uh, it's just not there. So one of those two, one of those two, um, you know, you, you know, I wish I could give you better direction in that. You know, being, being a fire sign, I probably would be going, charge, but... You know, you are an earth energy, so you do, you know, you are a little more grounded. So let's, it could be either of those, okay? Or it could be a combination. So let's go on one last card for my Capricorns. Here we go. Last card, face down, not reversed. Here we go. The nine of Gabriel, so fire energy again. And this is about determination. This is stay determined and move forward. So here we have the two fire energies saying, hey, keep going forward. Now, do you go forward with this opportunity? You may not. But, you know, and maybe you have between the nine of air and five of water, maybe you have very legitimate reasons not to. But don't let, it, and if that's the case, don't let that keep you from continuing down that pathway, though. I don't mean that you have to take this opportunity. Another opportunity will come to you. So stay determined and move forward, but be prepared for any possibility. Environmental activism. So environmental activism is always kind of a little weird, but, but you know, you know activists that are extremely, um, you know, you might you might be encountering somebody that's very, very, very strong in their opinions, and they might be telling you either way, either way, they might give you good reasons to go down the path of the two of fire, or they may support you with that, you know, of why you shouldn't, okay? But in the long run, when it comes down to it, my Capricorns, you're going to do what you want to do. It's, and it's all good. It's all good. So my Capricorns, you're going to have some interesting energy this week, weekend. And, you know, you're, you know, there's going to be some angst. But at the end of it all, you know, you will make a good decision either way. So my Capricorns, if you enjoy my readings, remember, hit the like, share, subscribe button. But as always, my Capricorns, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.